five reasons why we need ego. Why do I need my ego and why do you guys need your ego is the topic of today's video. Today we're talking about pros and cons of having ego. This is the first part of two series video and today we're going to talk about benefits, about five benefits of having ego. The second part of this video is called five reasons to let go of ego and how ego can destroy our lives and our relationships. The link to the second video is under the description of this one. The universe, nature, the force of life or God did not make a mistake by giving us ego. All spiritual people are saying that you should let go of your ego. They are right and wrong at the same time. As the founder of this YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness, I can assure you that it's not possible to become a happy person without the presence of ego. If you disagree with me, let me know your story in the comments of this video. This topic was suggested by one of my YouTube viewers who has already watched many of my videos and sent me a set of great questions. So if you wonder how you can request your desired topic, that's easy. Just type it in the comments of this video. Okay, let's start about benefits of having ego. My name is Elena Semenek. I'm a psychologist and a life coach. I offer online private sessions and I am a creator of multiple healing courses. This is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome. On this channel, I help you to boost your self-esteem, to overcome your insecurities and to guide you in creating loving, profound relationships. Every week, I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, anxieties, limiting beliefs and all other essential topics that will guide you to manifest all your dreams. So start watching my videos one by one. I have 500 plus of them on my channel and I guarantee that sooner than you expected, you will become a happier, healthier and more successful. So subscribe to my channel, click the red button and click the bell to turn on the notifications so you won't miss my next important video. Okay, let's start talking about ego. To make sure that we are on the same page, let's answer the question, what is ego? Ego is a person's perception of self-esteem and self-importance. Ego is your own opinion of your self-worth. Basically, this is how highly you think about yourself. And here we come to pros and cons of having ego. I will start with pros. The first benefit of having ego is ego is helping us grow. Ego was given to us by birth. Same way as we received our body, our eyes, arms, legs, ability to connect to others or ability to feel pain and defend ourselves, the same way we were given ego. Ego is helping us to grow. For example, when we see that our friend has a nice house, a nice car, and goes on a nice vacation, it can create a desire inside of us to obtain these things as well. So our ego helps us to learn new skills so we can get a better job and make more money. Our ego helps us to believe in ourselves and make us work harder to achieve our goals. Let's move on. The second benefit of having ego is that ego helps us to find a balance between our own desires and social expectations. Often people sacrifice their own desires because what they want might not be the same as what other people expect from them. For example, a person wants to be an artist, but his family expects him to be a doctor. So this person's ego can help him to say no to his family and let him follow his own dreams. So if you like this video so far, please let me know by clicking the like button and writing your feedback. I would really appreciate it. Let's move on. The third pro of having ego is that ego helps us to not fall under the negative influence 
of our own self-destructive desires and destroy our own lives. For example, biologically and historically, the human body always prefers fatty foods and sweets over healthy food. So we love to eat pizza, we love french fries, pasta, chocolate and ice cream. But we know that if we eat that type of food every day, we will harm our body. We will develop diabetes, high blood pressure, bad cholesterol and increase the risk of a heart attack. So when our ego comes into the picture, it can tell us that we deserve better and we deserve to be healthy. So, ego brings our sense of self-respect and self-worthiness and does not allow for degradation. Before we talk about the next pro of having ego, let me introduce the sponsor of today's video, Better Health. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, difficulties with relationships, or just suffering from low self-esteem. I'm a therapist and time to time I have also conflicting feelings inside of me. So if something is bothering you, then consider today's sponsor BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There are a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. So just fill out a questionnaire and then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you can schedule secured video or phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. And my favorite feature of BetterHelp service is that you can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. So join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp specialist. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp, which is betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. Okay, let's get back to today's topic, which is why we have ego, pros and cons of having ego. So far, we discussed three benefits of having ego. Number one, ego helps us to grow, to develop new skills and to achieve our goals. Number two, ego helps us not to fall into a desire to fulfill other people's expectations, but to follow our own dreams. Number three, ego helps us to not give in into the negative influences of our own detrimental desires and helps us to live longer. So, pro number four of having ego is that ego helps us to feel that we are enough. Ego tells us that we are worthy enough for good relationships in our life, that we are enough to have a good career, that we are enough to have good friends. Ego tells us that we are sufficient enough to obtain expensive things like having a nice house, an expensive phone, a good car, to travel to exotic destinations and to enjoy our lives. So if someone is treating you badly, for example, if your friends asking you to help them without saying thank you, or if your boss disrespects and devalues your work, your ego is one who will tell you that this is not okay. Your ego will alert you that someone is crossing your boundaries and it is time to do something about it. So your ego is making you to watch this video. Your ego is looking for ways to protect you and your ego is constantly tells you that you are not a bad person and you deserve all the good things in life. On this note, if you want to create a profound life, the life that you can be proud of, then consider joining my online happiness club and take advantage of my special offer that you can find 
in the description of this video. Join my happiness club and receive unlimited access to my entire database of healing exercises, guided meditations, self-development webinars, life coaching techniques, breathing exercises, art therapy, energy work, and my personal support. Also, in the happiness club, members can enroll into three healing online courses. Number one, healing your inner child. Two, overcoming emotional eating. And three, program yourself for success. All the links are in the video description. So, if you want to learn the secret of creating a happy life, enroll into my happiness club today. Let's talk about the final benefit of having ego. Pro number five of having ego is that ego won't let others manipulate and abuse you. Spiritual gurus say that when you are kind, loving and beautiful, you don't need ego. This is true only if you live in a monastery with other ego-free people. But if you are like me and live in a regular city, this concept unfortunately won't work. If you have to go to work, if you have to raise your kids, if you have to pay your bills, then you need ego. If you become a completely kind, loving and generous person, unfortunately, you won't be able to survive in this world. There are good people and there are manipulative and abusive people in this world. There are people who are looking for an opportunity to blame someone else for their own laziness and to put their responsibilities on your shoulders. Of course, you can try to look for a career where everyone is respectful, everyone is doing their job, everyone is helping each other, supporting each other, but we are all human and every one of us can be tired and rude sometimes. The same things apply to other people. Even kind and loving people can get emotionally from time to time. So we need ego to create and maintain our personal boundaries. We have our emotions, our feelings, and sometimes we misunderstand each other. Sometimes we don't get enough sleep and might end up in a bad mood. And that's okay. We all have our ups and downs. In reality, it is not possible to be kind, loving, and compassionate 24-7. If you prohibit yourself from negative emotions, then you will allow others to manipulate and abuse you. If you never say no and always forgive others, then pretty soon you will develop a victim mindset. I'm always surprised to find that many people fall into a belief of a nice, kind and loving universe. This is an illusion. I'm not saying that you should be alert and defensive 24-7. I'm just saying that the universe, God, the higher power, the life force did not make a mistake by giving us our ego. Your ego is like a knife. It's neither bad or good. It's about how you use it. You can use a knife to kill a person or you can use a knife to prepare a delicious family dinner to enjoy with your loved ones. And now I want to give you a gift. I'd like to send you five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations and five free healing exercises. Visit elenasemanek.com or click the link below the video. Okay, let's get back to today's topic. Why we have ego. Let's summarize. Number one, ego helps us to grow, to develop new skills and to achieve our goals. Number two, ego helps us to not surrender to other people's expectations, but follow our own desires. Number three, ego helps us to not give in under the bad influence of our own detrimental desires and help us to live longer. Number four, ego gives us a sense that we are good enough and we are worthy of good things in life. And number five, ego protects us by not letting others manipulate and abuse us. It will mean a lot to me 
And to my ego, if you can share this video with your friends and family. The second part of this series is waiting for you. Five reasons you need to let go of ego and how your ego can hurt you and ruin your relationships. But before watching the second video, check the red button and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell to make sure that you won't miss my next important video. And then go ahead and watch the second part of this series, the five reasons why you need to let go of your ego. Okay, see you soon. Bye.